Uh, reflecting on the past couple of years, I think uh, really proud of our achievements so far. Um, to finish with 17 wins in the first year and 19 wins in the second year, we've had some uh, really good success. And to finish tied for second in year one and tied for third in year two in this conference uh, speaks to uh, the development that we've had, speaks to our guys and how they bought into what we're teaching. Um, we've had a really special group of guys over the last couple of years. Um, so I'm really proud of our accomplishments. And we're just looking to build on that, that legacy, right? So from last year's team, you know, we, we think we graduated a really special senior class. Uh, Roy McMillan, Devin Kearns, Alex Starr, all those guys meant so much to us on and off the court uh, as a member of our program. And our goal heading into this year is not, uh, you're not going to be able to replace those three guys. It's about each guy returning to the program just being a little bit better version of themselves. Um, and, and that's what we're carrying into, into year three. You know, we have, now we have juniors and seniors who have been under me for three years, so some of our terminology and how we want to play and our offensive defensive concepts, um, it's not new to them. So we can hit the ground running, we're teaching fast, and we're bringing along the new faces and the first year players are learning uh, and have great guys to learn from in, in the junior and senior classes. Sure, yeah, so like I mentioned, we have four uh, seniors and juniors, so two in the senior class, starting with uh, co-captains Kevin Denon and Mark Krogan. You know, Kevin has already proved himself in the league to be one of the best uh, perimeter three-point shooters and uh, an underrated defender. And Mark Krogan uh, is one of the toughest guys on the team and in the league, uh, he's gonna add defensive rebounding, finishing inside. Um, and then we think our junior class is, is really, really talented with uh, William Brueggemann and Curtis Mitchell. Curtis returns as the Defensive Player of the Year uh, in the ODAC and uh, hoping to build on an even better defensive campaign. And then uh, William Brueggemann uh, playing alongside really talented guys like Roy McMillan and Devin Kearns, like we mentioned, still averaged almost 15 points a game as a sophomore. So I think the sky's, for li the, sky's the limit for him on the offensive end of the floor and uh, he doesn't get nearly enough credit for how good a defender he is. So, you know, with those four guys returning, as well as a starter from the sophomore class, Mark Lamondola, who uh, is a really good two-way player, you know, that's a really good base to build upon. Um, and excited about the rest of the team. Uh, like I said, a lot of talent in the, in the first year and sophomore classes uh, to add to that group of guys. The ODAC preseason poll, there's just too many good teams uh, to have one poll, right? So, and, and it speaks to our league that there were so many ties because that's how competitive it is. So, you know, in getting picked tied for fifth, we're, we're, we're flattered that, um, you know, the other, other coaches and teams and programs in the league felt that, that we could go there. Um, you know, but, you know, from six on down, those are all really good teams that if you don't bring your A game every night, they can beat you. And we're trying to compete, um, you know, with the teams that were picked at the top. But ultimately, um, the preseason poll, our goal, like we've accomplished in the last two years, is to finish higher in the final poll than the preseason poll. So uh, ultimately, we're shooting for the top, and we're going to try and win the league. But you can only do that one day at a time, one practice at a time, one game at a time. So um, it's a great league. It speaks for itself in terms of our national reputation and how competitive it is. Um, and and we're, we're gunning for the top. And uh, you know, preseason polls is a snapshot of where people think we're at. And our goal is to try and top that as a group.